a lot of us love to read reviews, and now the opportunity is here for us to write them. So let's take a look at some of the different kind of reviews that we uh, embark on in journalism and see how we can start to craft them. Music reviews, film reviews, food, restaurant reviews are some of the key ones that we read, book reviews. Um, you know, it's surprising how many uh, places that we go to seek someone else's opinion in order to decide whether or not we want to do something. And, and think about how often you make that determination. So, you know, I'm going to see this movie because it got a good review, or I'm going to see uh, to go to this restaurant because it got a good review. That's really powerful. So, you know, the, the idea of people who write reviews and the respect that goes behind them can be a very powerful tool. But basically, what the reader wants to know is, um, is it worth it? You know, is this book worth reading on the beach? Why should I upgrade to uh, Windows Vista, which, you know, since we're on Macs, we don't have to worry about that. But um, does Justin Timberlake's new CD have anything on it for me? So these are things that, that pe questions that people have, and they're looking for some, and I put in quote, expert advice to help them navigate. So basically, you have to decide what's your overall opinion of whatever this product is. Uh, you know, did you like the movie? You can't just tell people, yes, I like the movie. Why did you like it? Well, it was hilarious. Uh, it was pretty long, probably another half hour, uh, not very groundbreaking, but if you want to be entertained just for, uh, you know, two hours, then this is the movie for you. Great. You know, and, and remember, that can be the framework for your review, but you have to give a reason behind your opinion. Readers absolutely want to know about what the product is. They don't really care much about you personally. That's not to say that they don't get involved in personality. So, you know, we all know Roger Ebert was a film reviewer, a very well-respected one, and people respected his review specifically. Um, Richard Corliss, who uh, does reviews for Time, people will read his reviews specifically, so there is a respect level that comes with it. But the goal is, is that they're going to give us information on the product with opinion and facts, and, and again, sticking to the topic of what exactly do I need to know about this. Kind of try to have a unique selling point for your review, some kind of expertise that you have. How do you make your opinion differ? Um, really give people some concrete reasons why they'll want to read you. You want to write like you're talking to your friends, but recognize not all people will think if you're a smartass that that's very funny, uh, if you're condescending. Um, you have to really think about what it is that you felt when you left the theater, why you felt that way, and what someone else should know about that. You certainly try to imitate reviewers that you read or, you know, for any type of writing that you do. Imitation is a great way to uh, start to develop a style that you like. What ideas can you borrow? But you don't want to be a movie poster. Um, you don't want to just be gushing about every movie that you see. No one will have any faith in what you write if you're constantly writing positive things or you're constantly giving them cliches. You need to be able to be a, an original thinker about the topic that you see and be able to convey that message in a way that makes sense to your readers and in a way that they feel that they've been given value. So often we begin with an opinion, and then you support the opinion with different examples. Um, make sure that you're not revealing too much about the plot or the story. Give them as much as they need, but nobody wants you to give away uh, the important fact aspects um, before they've had a chance to see the movie or read the book or do whatever. Um, you want to maybe compare it with something that you've seen that's comparable. So uh, if you liked... Um, you know, American Pie, this is the movie for you. That's going to give me some idea um, versus if you like The Godfather, this is the movie for you. So, you know, depending on what people's uh, tastes are, they're going to be able to gauge that. Um, try to, you know, use some similes or some literary techniques and, and don't be prejudiced just because you're prejudiced. So if you hate um, movies done by Steven Spielberg, you know, that's no reason to hate Lincoln. There has to be reasons specifically that would make you say something about Lincoln positively or negatively, why you either liked it or didn't like it. And you want to make sure that you're adding to their knowledge and, and their appreciation of, of what it is that they want to pursue um, and recognize the power behind your words. If you say that something is bad and people have faith in you, they're really not going to go see it probably, or many of them may not. So make sure that you have facts to support your opinion.